Welcome to Empowered to Grow, the podcast. I am your host, Hanan al Basha, the business doctor. Following our conversations with empowered women who woke up one day and consciously claimed, I am more than enough, I am worthy, I am empowered to grow. And along their empowering journey towards realizing their own potential and their quest for growth, they became a beacon of hope and guidance for others. May you also find your inner power to grow. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. Um, I'm going to be recording this as both um, uh, um, a live for the group and a podcast episode. They say that um, you've got to show your messy middle. And the messy middle is the transition periods, the period where you're going through a tough time, the period where you lose sight of what you set out to do the period where everything just falls out of place, not into place. And um, I've been contemplating and I've been reflecting and I've been thinking about this messy middle for a while now. And a while is about, what, about approximately six months. This is the time where I realized I kind of lost a bit of my spark. I started cocooning again. Usually when I cocoon, I'm healing. I'm working through something. But this time the cocoon was isolating myself from anything and everything that kind of triggered me, that kind of pushed me beyond my comfort zones, and possibly even that just started driving me away from from my passion and driving me away from my mission. And I kind of lost sight. So I, I spent the summer just trying to work it out, um, putting in the effort, seeing why I stopped doing lives. I stopped putting content that's actually serving my purpose. Um, I stopped engaging with a lot of people. I stopped pushing anyone to meet up even, just the simplest things of life. Um, Clubhouse was out, my posts on my page were out, and I'm like, what is happening? And I realized that um, whether I would have wanted to admit it or not, I lost trust in me. I did not lose faith which means that I still believe in my mission. I still believe that I'm destined to serve in in every way that I can. I just lost trust that I could actually do it. And it's amazing when like very small triggers send you off in that trajectory, which is not a good thing, but still is also an indication and an opportunity to see the areas where we need to heal. So for me, I believe one of the the initial triggers was um, getting no signups on a webinar, getting no views on a video I put out or a series of videos that I put out, getting no engagement. And I thought I didn't care. I thought I was over that. I thought or I believed that, you know, it's all about the impact because I know, because people tell me, even very close people to me, that. They've seen the post, they've read the thing, they've seen the video, but they just didn't comment. So I'm like, okay, so the impact is there. And yet part of me was still yearning for that validation. And um, part of me just said, if you can't get people to sign up, how do you have that kind of a vision? If you can't get people engaged, how do you have this? If you can't commit to healthy, clean eating 24 seven, how can you go and tell people to live a healthy, happy, wealthy life and to be honest I'm a human we all are and uh, we do have those periods where we're just susceptible and vulnerable to that impact from all around us to losing sight of what we're doing and thus I spent a lot of the time in the summer just kind of reflecting and reminding myself again digging in really 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 deep to see and to know and to identify and to re-trust not only me but my why why am i doing this why do i exist i i I know it's a bit of the transcendental kind of um, uh, um, line of thought but but that's it and um just going back and saying i know there are people who need me i know i can serve i know I can be a positive light in someone's day. And 
even though I might not show up all the time, it doesn't mean that I'll disappear forever. It doesn't mean that I've given up. And I wanted to share this with you because I know, because I've spoken to, to a lot of women specifically, um, who kind of feel that, who kind of feel that <laughs> there's nothing I can do. Um, that's it. I've tried. I've given it my all. And I had to be honest with myself. And I had to stop and ask myself, have I given it my all? And the answer was no. I've still got a lot to give. Um, I, there were times, there were blocks of times, months, years, that I, I went over and above because I believed. I believed and I trusted. I trusted me and I trusted that everything's gonna turn out the way I anticipated. And I know this is life. And I know we get sidetracked and I know we get side slammed by things that just happen. And I also know that I have been the person, the type of person, and I know a lot of you are like that too who just stands up, dusts off, keeps walking. So um, I guess what I'm trying to say is I wanted to remind myself and all of you who needed to hear this today that I trust me and you trust you. It might get messy a bit, that trust. It might get muddled with everything that happens and things that just kind of... Um, surround us one way or another it just doesn't mean that it's gone away and it doesn't mean that we give up and it doesn't mean that that's it we throw in the towel we're way way away from throwing in the towel and that fighter spirit is within us sometimes it gets buried that's normal that's that's life I, I realized that part of the summer for a few weeks I felt like I was completely off my let's say alignment and uh, only to realize that most probably i had put my guard down i and, and i just let the toxicity sip in i let others opinions of me kind of define and kind of um influence how i thought of myself and um i let um others <laughs> my mantra for the summer just to to let you know it was it's not about me it's about them they're dumping and <laughs> kind of projecting their own insecurities and their own limitations onto me. It's not about me. And to be honest, there was a time that I kind of let the guard down. So I, I believed it was about me, but I reminded myself and I put my guard up and I managed to end my, um, let's call my sabbatical vacation on a good note. Um, just to come back and say, why? Why am I doing this? Why am I here? Why am I still showing up? Why am I still interested in learning and developing and evolving and providing and supporting? Why? Because it's me and I'm doing it for me. So how can I not trust me to do it for everyone else or for anyone else? Um, yeah, my, my business has not um, grew the way I had projected. That's okay. I'm working on, on finding where the loopholes are and where the foundation could be strengthened. My, um, some of my relationships fell through, I would say. That's okay. But I also started to understand me more. I started putting further boundaries for me. I started um, protecting me in the sense that I will not allow you to use me or abuse me in any way you see fit because I value me. I'm working and um, have been working on my relationship with money. That was another thing for me that um, I needed to um, start healing that relationship where um, money becomes um, an amazing support tool for everything that I want to achieve and all the aspirational dreams that I've got. Um, I started focusing on how can I serve more and with more clarity and these are things that I know I had confused a lot of people because my messaging um, has been all over the place because I want to give all of me. And of course, um, that is difficult for people to understand. So how can you support them? And um, my, my, my passion is still the same. My passion is to support women who first to 
trust themselves once again, to believe in their competences, to know in their gut that they're able to create whatever they want to in life. Now, I, um, I kind of really focus on the business part because I have my personal experience and that of others I've worked with has been that we lose trust when it comes to business just because um, we, again, we've been conditioned with the you can't, you won't, you shouldn't. And uh, it's a, well, it's a male dominated uh, field. So um, we don't have the voice that we would like to have for ourselves. And this is something that makes me passionate about supporting women in business and in starting their own ventures and in believing that you get to determine your own success, your own subjective parameters for success. So this, um, I guess this is it. That's just my message for today. I just wanted to bring myself back, um, to extract myself, but also to show the messy middle, to show that it is okay to get off track a bit, to kind of lose alignment, to, to get foggy in the head and kind of lose sight of where you are going in the first place, and to just dust it off, clear it out, go to the root cause, understand the triggers, understand the parameters that all go into it, and um, get back. So this has just been that for tonight or today, wherever you are. I am excited to show up more. I will put in my best effort to systemize this further just because um, I miss the lives. I miss my podcast and I'm blessed that uh, even though I had not um, launched any new episodes of the podcast in about what, four to six weeks now, I'm still getting the statistics that it's still being downloaded and still people are listening to it or watching it and this just melts my heart and um, I'm super grateful, I'm super grateful for you all, I'm su super grateful that you're here and I'm super grateful that you believe in you because you know the slogan is empowered you empowers others. So um, thank you and uh, just gonna check if there are any comments or anyone had any questions. Oh, Aganda, thank you, love. Maha, oh my God, I'm I'm so happy. I'm so happy you um, you are here. I'm so happy that you managed to uh, to show up on the live just to hear this. I know I I had this. Um, it's weird. I had this tug at my heart. That I was just sitting. I'm like, okay, how will I spend my evening? I've got a free evening. Do I want to go live? Do I just want to spend it on my iPad? Do I want to spend it on Netflix? Or do I want to spend it working on my program? That's got to be amazing. I'm working on it for you guys. And I realized I, I, I need to connect and I need to show and, and to be there and to be as vulnerable as possible. Just to, to be, I'm not saying I'm setting an example. Um, I believe we're all examples in our own lives, and, and that's another part that we also need to um, keep the faith in. You're amazing at what you do, each one of you. You're amazing, and you are your own role model. It's just sometimes we really, we spend a lot of time looking outside of us, looking for others to look up to. There's nothing wrong with aspiration, but when it just becomes the only goal, to be someone else, to imitate someone else, I think it's, it becomes draining rather than motivating and it becomes disempowering rather than empowering because you're just imitating, you're becoming a copy of someone else and you're not, you're not tuning into your core, to who you are, to who you're destined to be and to become. It's never too late. We've heard, I'm sure you've heard, of a, a zillion stories of people who transformed their lives at 50, 60, 70, even 80. In every aspect of life, we're talking about business, we're talking about aspiration, we're talking about motivation, we're talking about fitness, we're talking about everything. You're breathing, it's not late. And that's what I'm reminding myself of. So, okay, the last year has been tough. It has been intense. It has drained me. I had so many things happening on the personal side, family side, career side, my husband's career side, everything. 
And you know, it was like kind of dip, 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 dip. It was it was hit after hit. And then I still had to stop and say, and we're still going. And we're still um, standing up. And we're standing tall. And we're dusting off. And we're getting up. And these are things. And and it's okay if my body has added a few layers of fat. Well, it's protecting itself. It's okay. I know that once I'm ready and I'm grounded again, I will take care of me. I'll take care of my health. I took care of my mental health. I worked my best on my emotional health. The physical health, spiritually too. The physical health, yeah, I took a back seat and that's okay. I had to forgive myself for that rather than torture myself or ostracize myself, which, which was a habit for me before. So these are just some of the elements that I want us to think of. What are you not happy about today? What are you not completely satisfied on? Okay, not completely. What are you not satisfied with today? Would you feel you need to work on? Would you feel you need to heal? Would you need to you feel you need to evolve? Start. And as we said before, it's not a matter of, of humongous leaps. Sometimes it doesn't happen that way. One step at a time. One small commitment at a time. A few minutes a day, five minutes a day, half an hour a week. Whatever it is that works for you. Not when anyone tells you what works for you, for your schedule, for your priorities, for your health, for your aspirations, for your objectives. Realize that, commit to that, keep moving forth. That's all it takes. Okay, so, um, hi Vicky. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Okay, ladies, I'm guessing if anyone has any questions or um, comments and you are seeing this in repeat or hearing it, this on the podcast when it comes out, please do reach out. Whether you want to post in the group or send me a, a DM, I'm more than happy. I'd love to connect with all of you and I would love for us to have more interactions and I would love to um, be there in any way, in every way that I can. Okay. So as always, you know how, um, how I love to end this. I wish you love, abundance, and prosperity now and always. Take care of you, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Empowered to Grow podcast. For further engagement with the tribe of empowered women, join my Facebook group, Empowered to Grow, or visit my website, www.hananulbasha.com. I'll catch you on the next episode. And until then, know that empowered you empowers others. Love, abundance, and prosperity to you all.